Hi everybody, it is Mo here from EGT. Uh, today I'm going to reveal my way how to remember things. Like when I'm studying, when I'm programming, trying to learn coding, a new language or something. Uh, what I do is I use the flashcard method. And particularly I use an app called Anki app. So it's kind of like a paper that you write a question or something and you flip it and write the answer on the back. So what you do uh, is you just try to see the question and try to answer it. And once you answer it, you flip it, you flip the page and see the answer. And uh, regarding that, depending on this, you uh, like kind of give yourself a feedback, uh, whether it was an easy, uh, like good, hard or fail and given your answer to each a specific question the app itself it's going to rank your questions on how how hard how or how tough it was to you so it will give you the questions that you did not answer well more often so you can keep remembering them uh, by uh, the time and what I use this app is like I use it in my spare time. So while I'm just like sitting, not doing anything or just like having my tea or something, you know, like in your spare time. So it's kind of like a refresher, you know, and I'm going now to show you how to uh, navigate the app. And also uh, before I forget, it has very great feature with its synchronization between devices. So what you do is uh, if you, it's available in Mac, Windows, uh, iOS or Android. So you can easily just like open your MacBook or open your uh, PC la uh, laptop. You just create questions, create decks and it will be synchronized on all of, of our, your devices. And I'm going to show you how. start learning this I'm going to tell you that this channel is all about making you successful in your career as an IT specialist computer uh, scientist software engineer or an average person wants to learn technology so if this is something uh, feels interesting to you make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you get a value from this video give it a thumbs up it really helps for the YouTube algorithm let's jump into it you go to a website called ankiapp.com A-N-K-I app.com or you can find the link in the description below and you will see immediately that you can download to Apple Store for Mac OS for Windows or uh, Google Play for Android devices okay what I do is I usually create my decks create my cards using my computer because it's going to be easier for me just to copy and paste, like maybe from my books, from my materials, just copy and paste. It's going to be much faster and more efficient. And I read in my phone or on my iPad. So uh, assuming you need to download it for MacBook, hit this download for Mac OS. It's going to start the download. And I have it installed. So I'm going to skip this. Anki app. So this is how it looks like when you open the app. Uh, it's going to ask you for a sign up if this is your first time or log in if you're a returning customer. So uh, in my case, I'm going to just log in because I have an uh, uh, account in here. And as I said, I've been using it for eight years now or nine years since I have been studying pharmacy. So I have been like using it for a very long time. I will just load your data and after that I'm going to also to show you uh, how to use it in the mobile phone here we go so once we logged in you have the recent or you have the all tags or shared the recent that the decks that you recently uh, like opened or studied all that all your decks that you created or you download it in this account and this is tags like some people tags you in or shared like people like maybe your friends or your colleagues you're studying together 
uh, you can create a deck. A deck is kind of like the box that has the cards inside it, you know? So, if you create this plus, it's going to ask you either import a deck that is already made or create a new deck. So if you hit create a new deck, it's going to ask you to enter a name and description. So a name, for example, test one description. Maybe this is just a demo, for example, just something and you save it. So we created the box now. Now we have to put in the cards. You start creating the cards. For example, here you press this, those three dots and then you uh, start a new card or edit the deck, share or remove it. So we need to add a new card now. Here we go. So here you can add images, you can add soundtracks, you can add uh, like this is just to make it bold or make an adjustment, add dots, add numbers or align the test, text, sorry. And this is the front, as you can tell, and this is the back of the card. So the front is the question. So you put, so for example, what is the color of Facebook? icon for example here you go you tab and go back to the back and you say for example blue here we go and you can highlight it you can make it bold here underline and do whatever you want or change the color so you can create it the way you like you can add as I said images soundtracks like explanations and stuff you know and you just hit save that's after you finish and you can also select the layout either it shows as a front to back or back to front back to front means it will show the blue before the what is the color of the facebook account but in our case we're going to keep it as a front to back and save it here we go card saved now you create another card. What is the color of Snapchat icon, for example? We'll say yellow. Here we go. We save it. Now we made a couple of cards. Now you can just cancel this. See, now you have two cards in this deck that it's called test one. Let's go back and see. In the recent, now you have the test number one. It says never that you never learned it. You never started to learn this deck, this box. So you open it. It's going to show you that you have two new cards. And this, this is the ranking. You haven't learned it, so there is no rank. So, you will start by reviewing. You hit review. It's going to ask you, what is the color of Facebook account? Mm, blue. Okay, so you hit the flip. Blue, right. How was your answer? Was it easy? Was it good? Hard or fail? So, in my case, I'm going to say easy, because I, I know it. Okay? So, what is the color of Snapchat icon? Oh, um, I will say red. Flip? Oh, no, it's yellow. Okay, so I'm going to put it as a fail. Here we go. So, my score now, it's 46% and it's F. Fail. And this is the great change today. Because it's going. you're going to learn. You're going to make uh, like a lot of cards. And you're going to learn every day and it's going to show you how you're changing every day are you getting better or are you getting worse or blah 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 and this is a review per day your average reviewed cards per day once you hit continue it's going to start them all over again you know but we're just playing on just two cards imagine it's like a hundred or thousand i have decks that i created more than like 1500 cards 
So it's, and once you open it, it's going to ask. Uh, there, is, there are some options like you can edit the card. So once you created it, you can st like edit it later on, and you can start it, and you can ignore it. Ignore it means it's not going to show you this card anymore. And this is tags, like you can tag something. And then the settings. If you go to the settings, this is the language of the software you're using. This is the color scheme, as you can see now. You can change it on wherever you want. Card per session. Cards per session means how many cards it will show on each card, on each, sorry, in each session. So, for example, if you want this to be five and then like start all over again, that's up to you. Sometimes I even used 500 when I have exam and I want to like just keep reviewing faster and faster. Because like if, if you make it, for example, 10 sessions, it's going to keep repeating a question that you're not good at. But in case you are in a rush and you would like to just go over everything, you just need to select the maximum. And this is the font size. And this is autoplay audio. That's in case like some decks has autoplay. Uh, has sorry, some uh, some uh, cards has uh, soundtracks. So do you want them to play immediately or you press on them and then it will play? So it's up to you. And this is to reset all the settings all over again. Let's go back. Back again. Here we go. This is the... It says like one answer was C. We answered it correctly. But it, is it was just one time. So it will give you a C grade. On that good answer. And the other one was fail. Right? And as we see here. It's going to give you like the days that you worked on this uh, deck like monday tuesday how many cards for example and average review time here and total review time like since you started the deck since you created the deck it's it's very helpful and like straightforward let's go back now and uh let me show you here if we search we go to the search you can search public decks that people created browse public desk browse public decks you search on everything you want so for example here are some categories like chinese cebex english french geography and for example if we go to this geography you can see like for example flags of the world here we go you can just download it and then start reviewing look it's loading now it's going to show you that this deck, this deck has how many cards? Has it's increasing, 120 until it downloads everything. And here, it's going to show you all the information, and you can just review it and start learning. So, let's see review. Here, here, review, and flip, and you can. You have to answer and give a feedback about your answer. How does that sound or look? I think it's something like the best thing I ever like learned about because it helped me a lot in exams or learning anything that I want. Because you know, like if you want to learn something in your heart, it's going to be tough if you don't keep practicing if you don't keep learning it again and again until it just kind of like uh, like stick in your mind so if we go back to the search and we go back to the browse public decks you search anything you want so for example i used to study pharmacy so let's say drugs search see how many you have a lot and this is the number of cards in each deck here 13 45 129 see how many a lot of public decks so you can download any one of them and start learning let's say this one for example 
download. Here we go. So you have plenty of decks available, public, so you can download anyone you want and start learning. So search on any topics that you're interested in. For example, software engineering. Engineering. Search. See. Every, every topic that you're interested in, just search. Search and see how, how many decks people are have been creating. So given all of that, it's very easy to create your own personal decks. You can create them and copy paste your questions, write them in your computer and it's going to synchronize on all your devices. So once you log in with your, with your credentials on all over your devices, what you need to do is you just go to all and then search on the name of that deck, for example, test one here and download it. That's in other devices. So it's very easy and you can like keep track on all your cards all over your, or your devices. Here we go. I'm logged in now in my uh, mobile phone to the app called Anki app. And uh, as we said, we can find it in the app store here in the iPhone. Here is going to show you the recent look the one that we created in my MacBook, the test one. You can just review it. See? You have it ready. And if you go back to all, you will see the uh, like decks that we created or we downloaded. So it's very easy and helpful app. I hope you like it. And if you go to those three dots, you're going to the settings. You can see the same settings that we uh, already show you on the uh, MacBook app. Go back. Those are the shared, uh, shared decks that uh, somebody shared them with me. Here we go. Here you can add, create a new deck. Uh, or import deck exactly as we shown and this is statistics that will show you like what is your statistics statistics over the month over the days and like this and this is total number of your reviews that you reviewed and streak that means days that you uh, like uh, continued without stop continued to learn without stop and so on Hope you guys find that helpful and and once again if you're interested in tutorials like this one or any computer science software engineering or you're an average person wants to learn technology make sure to subscribe to the channel activate the notification bell so you get all my tutorials right away